be filled by the spirit of god chukua roho awe ndani yako kuwa muombezi wa kumkaribisha roho awe ndani yako kuwa muombezi anayekaramika katika maombi hakuna vile mkristo utashinda vita vya kiwilimwengu hivi ambavyo ni vya kiroho bila maombi hakuna vile mkristo utakuwa mshindi without prayer prayer is key when you pray and read the word of god you will come out victoriously tuko na vita mbalimbali we have so many wars we have so many things are happening in our life sasa singine mkristo unachipata katika hali ya njia panda unapoenda kulala unakuwa na ndoto ya ajabu ajabu unapoenda kutembea barabarani unakuwa na maajali mbalimbali ambazo si nzuri unapoishi mtaani unakosana na watu wasipokujua i've come to remind you that is a spiritual war put on the full armor of Christ put on the word of god god is looking at you god is counting on you that when you put on the full armor that god has given unto you you will come out victoriously how can christians fight this spiritual war i'm saying they can fight a spiritual war when they pray every day praying without ceasing will make you to endure the fight without retreating back reading the word of god read the word of god the conflict you have is from satan and satan knows that when you are not putting on the full armor you will not defeat satan we know very well that when satan is coming to you he wants you not to to succeed putting on the full armor of god will come by reading the word of god read the word of god meditate on the word of god when jesus was being tempted by the devil he said man cannot feed on bread alone but by the word of god jesus overcame the temptations that jesus was trying to bring to him reading the word of god will make you firm reading the word of god will make you to succeed this war my friend i've come to remind you please read the word of god meditate on the word of god make sure that you are connected to the word of god because without the word of god you cannot succeed in this spiritual war without the word of god you cannot succeed in this war you must read the word of god another point that can make you fight this war is to have fellowship with the saints kuwa na ushirika na wenzako mahali ambapo unakaa mahali unafanya kazi kuwa na ushirika na wenzako jaribu kusikiza ushuhuda ya wenzako jaribu kutia wenzako moyo kwa sababu we are not alone Jesus is reminding us that hatuko peke yetu bali ako na sisi na jambo ambalo la muhimu ni kuwa na ushirikiano wa kiushirika wale mnao nisikisa kuwa na ushirika na wenzako kuwa na ushirika na neno la Mungu kuwa na ushirika na mahali unakaa ili mfunzane neno la Mungu kwa sababu mnapofunzana neno la Mungu mtakuwa na uwezo wa kupikana na huyu shetani ambaye anakunyemelea usiku na mjana Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana our spiritual war will always be defeated when we cling the fellowship of our friends 
the fellowship of the word of God that what will make us to be victorious the world that will come will come destroy you the world that will come will come to make you not to move forward vita ambavyo utakuwa navyo vita kuondoa katika huu msafara wa huduma vita kuondoa katika hii safari ya mbinguni ni lazima ujue ya kwamba vita inavyokuja kwako vina lengo la kukurekesha chini pengine ulikuwa unakuja kanisa mapema pengine ulikuwa unamtolea Mungu vizuri lakini vita ambavyo ulikubana navyo vilikurekesha nyuma wale watu ambao vita vimeurekesha nyuma wale watu ambao walikuwa wanafanya kazi ya Mungu walipoanza kukumbana na vita hivi na wakakosa kujihami vizuri waliweza kurudi nyuma they backslided and they started to serve the devil they started to live the life that is pleasing the devil walianza kuona ya kwamba yale yote wanayofanya ni kazi bure lakini nimekuja kuampia ya kwamba usimkubali shetani akakutoa kwa hizi vita kwa njia ya kupeleka kando remain focused stand firm read the word of god fellowship with your friends fellowship with your neighbors fellowship with people and the war that will come on the way will not as difficult as it is vita ya kiroho ikikupata ukiwa hauko tayari itakusungusha sana when an enemy comes in your house when an enemy comes in your house and this enemy finds you not prepared this enemy will toss you up and down but when this enemy finds you when you are ready my friend hata pata nafasi the devil will not get a chance to bring you down so remain firm and focus on the word of god because the war you are fighting it's not flesh and blood but it is a spiritual war and when you come out fighting well you will be victorious when christ died on the cross he came out victorious and that's why today we are preaching christ we are preaching christ who died on the cross and he came out victoriously as we prepare for good friday and easter i want to tell you that we will come out victoriously let us cling the word of god let us read the word of god let us focus on the word of god and don't forget to pray because with the prayer all things will work all things are possible when we cling on prayer najua ya kwamba kumekuwa na vita mbalimbali kumekuwa na shida mbalimbali ambazo zimekukumba lakini katikati ya hizo shida nakukumbusha ya kwamba Mungu ako pamoja na wewe. I see you becoming a victor of the day. Naona ukiwa na ushindi mchana wa leo. Naona ukiwa zaidi ya washindi mchana wa leo kwa sababu umeelewa ya kwamba kazi ninayofanya vita ninayopakana navyo si vya kiroho, si vya kimwili bali ni vya kiroho. Yale yote ambayo unapitia I'm reminding you that God is with you. Shida mbazo unakumbana naso. Mungu ako pamoja na wewe. Wale watu ambao wanakuangalia kwa macho ya dharau, Mungu ako pamoja na wewe. When you put on the full arm of God, they will never find you. Hawatakupata bali utakuwa zaidi ya washindi in everything you are doing. Katika kila jambo ambalo unalifanya, weka Mungu mbele na umtasamie na umwamini ya kwamba inawezekana i know the journey might be tough the journey might be tough the environment might not be conducive wakati yusufu alikuwa mahali ambapo si pazuri alielewa vita vyake na kwa sababu alielewa vita vyake aliweza kushinda 
when David was going to fight Goliath, he knew very well that my fight is not physical. That's why he said, with the word of God, I will fight this giant. Even you, with the word of God, you can fight that giant. With the word of God, you can fight that problem. And it will come to an end. Na tutasherekea ushuhuda na ushindi ambao Mungu atakupatia. We are all going to be victorious if we fight this war by the word of God. Thank you so much for giving me this chance. Na kukumbusha ya kwamba vita vyetu si vya kimwili, si vya damu bali ni ya roho aliye ndani yetu na huyo roho tukimshinda huyo shetani tutakuwa washindi wa kusherekea Mungu wetu tukimaliza safari yetu asanteni sana kwa kunipa hii nafasi let's believe and pray baba katika jina la Yesu ninakushukuru kwa mchana wa leo na kushukuru kwa kutukumbusha katika waefeso 6:12 ya kwamba vita vyetu si vya kimwili bali ni vya roho mtakatifu our spiritual war will come to be our game of the day we will never retreat we will never give up but we will continue to fight this war until the end. Thank you for our viewers of God. Thank you for those who have come physically. We are joining together to say, may you continue to teach us your word on how to fight this war. And all in all, we will be victorious at the end of the war. Asante Mungu, maana uko pamoja nasi. Na ni katika Kristo nimeomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen. God bless you all.